Hey guys, so I did a $5 challenge. Today's Wednesday. I actually got this stuff two days ago, but I've been super busy working and doing all kinds of stuff, so I haven't posted it yet. Um, I did find some pennies, so I'll share those with you. Last video, I did a $5 challenge. I think I told you guys that when I was in the store, I found a frozen pizza stuffed on a shelf, and someone had left it there, and it was full of bugs. Well, this time I go in and somebody took a bunch of frozen pizza rolls and stuffed them in a shelf. Like, I don't know what's going on at this Dollar General. If they have like disgruntled customers, someone that's mad at them, an ex-employee, but they keep taking the frozen food and stuffing it in the shelves where like it rots before anyone finds it. I kind of find it disturbing. So I'm going up there today to check out the stuff for the clearance sale. I'll probably do a video if I find a lot of stuff to put into a slideshow for you guys. If you want a Dollar General clearance um, video slideshow, let me know below in the comments. Um, it's going to be the 8th, 9th, and 10th, so that's coming right up. Unfortunately, I have to work, but I was going to go scope it out for you guys and put together a video if you want it, so let me know. This week... The Pampers, or I don't even know the brand, so don't quote me. The the pull-up things that you put on your kids to go swimming, the swimming diapers, that's what pennied. I did not find those. I wasn't really looking for them because I don't really need them. But I did find an old penny. I found this smooth, dark roast. It is the 12 cups that you put in, like, the K-cup machine. It is older. It's a few weeks older. But these do not expire until April 15th, 2022. Remember, if you find penny items that are food and they're expired, they do not have to sell them to you. So I found one, two, three, four, five, six. There's two more on my floor. My car is a mess. I work out of my car, so it's... It's really bad right now, and I should probably use my day off to clean it. Um, so that was a good find. I found them way up on top at the end of the Halloween candy. See, the stuff you find is just random. you got to really look around like a treasure hunt. All right. So, oh, I also found these that were a penny. The Hershey's Pretzel Bites. These were a penny a while ago, and I just noticed they're expired. The lady must not have um, checked them. Some of them will check the date. Some of them don't care, and they just bring it through. So if you see these, they're a penny, but they're probably expired. All right. My whole... I went in there with a game plan, and then I changed it because I saw that they have the Febreze Small Spaces these are the limited edition. I love the ones that smell good. This one is fresh spiced apple. Has a little scratch and sniff. These smell great. I like to put them down by my trash can in the cupboards so that it doesn't get real smelly. I love the limited edition ones for the fall. So this is what I built my $5 challenge around. I wanted to get these and get them as cheap as I could. So I used all digital coupons. None of them were paper. Uh, these are $3 a piece. Be careful, though, because some of them are $4 a piece, different ones. You want to scan and check the price of everything. Scan and make sure that coupon's attaching. So $3. We have a $3 off of two digital coupons. So together, these would cost $3 after your coupon. Then... I'm using up some of the older coupons on my other accounts, and I have to say I did it again. I was going to try not to. I'm, remember, I'm trying to coupon for things that I need, but if it gives me overage, I have a hard time not getting it. I bought toothpaste again. I've got to stop buying toothpaste, I swear. And you guys have good ideas, like donate it and stuff. Yeah, uh, I've donated. I've given a lot away. I've sold a lot, and I still have, like, the never-ending mountain of toothpaste. But anyway, we do have a Colgate coupon that's new this week. It's, what is it, six off of two. You can find $3 ones and get break-even. I still had the $5 off of three. These are $1.75, but right now they're two for three. So three, four seventy-five. it gave me 25 cent overage. And you know I bought them for the overage money. So those are free plus a 25 cent moneymaker. 
Do not go into the store and just buy those and think they're going to give you 25 cents back. No. Dollar General is not supposed to give you money back. You don't want to get anyone in trouble. And the cashier might not know she's not supposed to give you money back and get in trouble. So don't do that. Maybe it'll cover your tax depending on what state you live in. Then we have a $2 toothbrush coupon for Colgate. There are dollar brushes out there that will give you a dollar overage. My store didn't have any. I've seen people haul them. They are the older ones, so you might have to dig around. I found this Colgate Max White Medium toothbrush in my clearance section. My clearance section is full of toothbrushes and toothpaste. This one was $2.70, so it only came out to $0.70 cents after my coupon. It's that This coupon scans great on the $3 ones, but you have to dig for that $1 one. Check your clearance. Check the back of the, like where they hang them up. Check way in the back. Um, just look around, but I thought $0.70 cents wasn't bad. And why not have more toothbrushes since I have so much toothpaste? All right. Where is it? One second, guys. All right, sorry. I lost the Lysol. Who loses stuff in their car like this? Um, this is a Lysol Mango and Hibiscus. It's $1.20. We have a 50 cent digital coupon working on Lysol products, so you only end up paying 70 cents for this. My store says on the app it's out of stock, and I keep finding them on random shelves. So always look around. Don't go by what the app tells you if it says it's out of stock because half the time it's not out of stock. All right. And then my store finally restocked these. These are the Ivory Aloe Scent Body Wash. They're 12 ounces. They're $1.50 a piece. And I got three of them. So that is $4.50. Now... We have a $5 off three coupon, and on the picture, it is secret deodorant. If you click on that coupon, it'll list tons and tons of stuff that it will match to, and this is one of them, and it gives 50 cents overage. So, body wash, I'm always down to buy body wash. It's something I'm always going to use, and this one isn't bad. Let me see. I've used it before. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad at all. And it's mild, gentle formula that won't dry out your skin. And I have very sensitive skin. I'm allergic to all kinds of stuff in shampoos, body wash, conditioner, you name it. Alrighty. Sorry, I have a cold. Now, remember, all I really wanted were two of these. My total before tax was, and I had to buy a bag. They charge five cents for a bag in my state because we don't use paper bags, uh, plastic bags anymore. Plus, I had seven penny items. So your total would be 12 cents cheaper before tax. So before tax, I spent $3. You can't even see it. And 77 cents, which is a total savings of $16. Not bad at all. Um, and these alone would have been $3 a piece. So I paid a little over what I would have paid for one. Plus, I got all this other stuff. All right, guys, I'm headed up to Dollar General now. I'm going to check out the clearance stuff. And remember, let me know below if you do want a video on clearance items for this weekend. Also, if you gave me a thumbs up on this video, I thank you very much. And everyone, enjoy the rest of your week.